everyone, I'm Hannah and I'm going to give you a quick intro to Torque and then Chip will show you what the experimental setup will look like for the lab. So Torque is a way of quantifying um, a, a twisting or rotational force on an object. So what that looks like in our lab is we'll first we'll start with a, a stick sitting on a fulcrum about which it can pivot and if we were to apply a force here at this location, pointing downward at a distance r away from the fulcrum, um, we're effectively applying a torque that will cause this to rotate um, uh, clockwise. So torque will be then equal to rf sine theta, where theta is the angle in between r and f vectors. In our case, it'll be 90, which is very convenient. So sine theta just becomes one and we end up with torque is just equal to R times F. All right, so here's our setup. We have a balanced meter stick. So I'm gonna change the fulcrum. The fulcrum right now is in the center of mass or the center of the meter stick. So I'm gonna move it. So now if I let go of this meter stick, we see that it wants to rotate clockwise. So it's rotating clockwise because there's a, a torque that's being applied to the right side of this meter stick. And that torque is happening because the center of mass is where we're going to assume all the mass of the meter stick is. So the mass, we're going to pretend that this meter stick has no mass except at the center of mass, at 50 centimeters. So there's a torque being applied right now equal to the weight of the stick multiplied by this distance. So I want to balance this meter stick. So what I have to do is add a torque on the left side of this meter stick. So I'm going to add this mass, try to balance this meter stick. Okay, so now we have torque on the right side from the center of mass must be equal to the torque on the left side. Okay, so the torque in the counterclockwise direction will then be R1 M1G, where M1 is that added mass. And I've written here the torque in the clockwise direction, which is the RCM, or the distance from the fulcrum to the center of mass, uh, times the mass of the stick times gravity. So then we'll take the net torque to be equal to the torque in the counterclockwise direction minus the torque in the clockwise direction because torque, since it's rotational, um, it clockwise and counterclockwise are positives and negatives as opposed to left and right or up and down as we're, we're dealing with regular forces. So we'll have torque counterclockwise minus torque clockwise. And all of this is equal to zero because it's not rotating at all. So we'll use this to solve for the mass of the meter stick. So um, in your data sheet, we're going to send you what R1, M1, and RCMR, and you can solve for MF. 